guys, Wonderbread here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Almost completely bailed there. And today we are going to be checking out the top three Hawk Rider decks in the game right now. These are all my opinion, but they're also some of the top decks that people have been using. Like top 200 players, 12 win challenge winning players. So they're really strong decks. These definitely aren't just decks that I've been like, oh, this would be cool. This would make a good video. And I've thrown them together. They are certified really good decks. And the first one right here is a 2.9 Hog Cycle deck. It's got three different spells in it and the tombstone for defense So that makes it better against like battle ram bridge spam type decks um, Because obviously the tombstone is the best defense against the battle ram it charges in it has the skeletons that stop the barbarians and stuff and then you've just got a really fast cycle, and if you guys don't have the log, I would say either use the arrows, or maybe like an ice spirit to lower the cost, or maybe just test out a completely different card like the goblin gang, the guards, any of those I feel like could work in this deck. And deck number two is this hog, tornado, executioner, and knight deck, which has been pretty solid in the meta for the last little while. Um, I think Surgical Goblin made it really popular at a tournament, but instead of the skeletons, we've got the goblins in here, and again, if you guys wanted to make it better against, like, specific meta decks, you could put a tombstone in there to stop Battle Ram, because again, Tombstone's the top defense for Battle Ram. And the very last deck is this one that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen on Clash with Ashes channel, and it's got the guards in there and the tombstone to be really strong against bridge spam decks, like, the guards stop the bandit and the tombstone stops the battle ram you got the fireball and the log for stopping three musketeers and then the uh, executioner tornado just to top off the combo of really strong pairings um then obviously you got the hog for counter pushes and stuff and all three of these decks are really really solid been winning a lot with these decks so let's hop into a match with this first one here and okay guys here we go in match number one against master clasher from 420 blazon and Let's see, we got some decent starting cards. I don't really want to start with a hog in my first hand because generally they're going to have a shutdown for your hog. Like, unless you're ridiculously lucky, they're probably going to have a shutdown for your hog. And he's going giant, so he's going to be a bit low on elixir. I want to split up his push a bit, so I'm going to push the hog down the other side. And he actually used a pretty good amount of elixir there. Like, he spent the ice wizard and the bomber there, so... That actually was pretty good. And he's got barbs too. This guy with his uh, very high leveled cards. Let's do that. Let's do this. Not even going to take out his barbs. Seriously. Seriously, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's get an ice golem here for the minions right there. That's going to distract for a second. And yeah, going to make it like what? Two shotable by the tower. There we go. Avoiding as much tower damage as possible. I spent a little bit more elixir there than he did, I think. But... For the most part, we got one hog, one hog shot down, and we took down all of his troops. Actually, he did put the barbs down, which kind of helps, but him having maxed barbs is going to be a massive pain for this. Let's go hog down this side. I'm just going to keep on doing the same thing. If I put it in the same lane, then obviously... Wow! <laughs> then obviously he could just build up more of a push, but... The rocket on the hog. That's, uh... That's not a very Chief Pat play there. That That's a pretty pro play, hitting the hog with the rocket. I'm pretty sure Pat would have missed. Shout out to all those very old Chief Pat jokes. Um, let's go... I'm thinking Ice Golem here just to tank for a sec. We're already back to our hog. This deck cycles so fast. It's so good. And we got the hog coming in. We got a slightly healthy Ice Golem. Basically dead Ice Golem, never mind. But we're going to get a healthy hog onto the tower. And that's all that matters. The healthy hog, guys. Say it with me. Healthy hog on the tower. Comment it down below if you enjoy healthy hogs on towers too. <laughs> but that was so much damage. That was amazing. And we made sure that he couldn't get enough elixir down for his barbs. Pretty sure we caught him low enough on elixir there that he just didn't have five elixir to spare. Which is what you gotta do. You gotta make sure that they don't have that extra elixir to just go, here's barbarians, here's a rocket on your hog. <laughs> Actually, I feel like that was kind of what cost him there, was putting down that first rocket on the hog. Because that's a lot of elixir to put down for just one troop. Just one solo troop. That's a pretty big investment. And let's go that there. A tombstone down for the giant, and he's got a bomber coming in too. This guy's got like an Arena 2 deck, I think. I think Arena 2 is like where you unlock barbarians and stuff. But hey, it keeps up the pressure, even though he doesn't really have a spell to back it all up. And we're going to take down that giant right there. We got a massive push coming in. Let's just uh, put this app down here for the minions. And hopefully, this is going to be the push right here. That's a massive hog counter push. There we go. Good game against Mr. Clasher with the ridiculous giant deck. Not even ridiculous. It just had some weird cards in there like the barbs and the bomber. And that's what I was saying earlier. You're going to play against some weird decks, especially in ladder. 
so it's always good to be prepared for those decks. And deck number two here is going to be this, again, kind of classic Hog Rider Executioner Knight deck with the goblins instead of the skeletons this time, or you can sub out the tombstone for the goblins if you guys want some better battle ram defense. Okay guys, and here we go in match number two against Boyle from Outburst. I keep on like tying matches and stuff, so it's definitely not the most exciting stuff to watch, so I'm going to be cutting out some of the matches in case you guys were like, oh, I thought you played extra matches in here. I'm cutting them out because ties aren't necessarily the best videos to show, or the best matches to show in these videos, but he's got a golem, so this deck actually matches up pretty well against golem beatdowns. I better win now that I'm saying that, but definitely because of the Executioner and the Tornado, it's got some high-hitting cards in Goblins and Knight. There we go. We got a nice little Lightning in there, too, for the three Muskies. So if we can get a Hog Rider down here, too, this is going to be a pretty nasty push. He's throwing the Log away there as well, which I'm not really sure about. I feel like you kind of want to save the Log there, but it's okay. And the Executioner, please take out those minions. Please just take them out. Yes, there we go. And the Executioner is going to get some shots down, too. Perfect counter push right there. Absolutely perfect counter push. And like I said, this deck is decent against golem decks. I definitely have a pretty big problem playing against this deck whenever I have a golem. So if you guys play a lot of golem decks, or if you guys play against a lot of golem decks, definitely try out this deck. And here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I want to apply some hog pressure, but because he's got that pump down and everything, it's kind of tough. And I don't really have a good cycle here. So I'm just kind of going to sit back, play my Executioner, get my Tornado down and stuff, make sure I Lightning down his three Musketeers, and just play some solid defense, because as long as I'm doing that, we should be okay. And if he goes three Musketeers, I'm going to Lightning. No, he's, if, even if he doesn't, let's just go Hog, because we're full on Elixir, and log all this back. There we go. <laughs> Why did... That was a completely wasted log. What am I even doing with my life, guys? <laughs> let's pull all these back here. Tower's going to be able to take him out. Should be able to, as long as he doesn't have something ridiculous like heal. Nice, nice, nice. We're taking them all out. Executioner coming in spicy hot. And this guy's got, like, the TMD Yao Yao deck, so it's a pretty solid deck. It's ridiculously high elixir cost, but if you've got the right counters to it, which I definitely do, it's not the most impossible deck in the world to take out. So there we go. Ice Spirit coming down on the minions. Hog Rider one shot and two... Oh... Feel like he should have gotten two shots on the tower there, but it was still pretty close. That was a nice attempt by the Hog Rider. And let's go Knight down here. Now I'm starting to get a little bit more aggressive as I can get some better counter pushes down. And let's go Hog Rider here. I've got my Lightning in hand for his three Musketeers. So let's see. Okay, he's going to go Goblin Gang there, which is okay with me because we're going to get a full Hog onto the tower. And we got the Executioner back in cycle. Like this deck cycles to your strong cards so fast. And even though this guy's using like a a really good proven deck we still shut it down completely he barely got any damage on the tower psychic lightning no okay that was a little bit too much to ask he wasn't gonna play the three muskies but there we go match number two nice one against foil there well played good game good luck and laughing face because different <laughs> so yeah there we go like that was a really solid deck but managed to get the win there because this is a really really good hog deck and match number three, you guys know it's obviously Clash with Ashes deck, but I wanted to test it out because it's one of the stronger decks against meta decks, or this current meta, with like the bridge spam and everything, because you got the guards for the bandit, the doomstone for the battle ram, and a bunch of other really strong cards, like my favorite, the Executioner and Tornado. Like you, everyone watching should know, Executioner Tornado is by far my favorite defensive combo, like for 8 Elixir, you can literally shut down any push. Basically, like pretty much any push in the game that you would want to shut down, you can for that 8 elixir. Sometimes it's a little bit much to invest, but as long as you're spending it wisely and not like over committing on defense, definitely one of the strongest ones. And this guy's a level 13 with a level 4 Night Witch. This is, uh, this is the match to watch, boys. And Mir. Alrighty then, we actually... We have some pretty solid cards to stop this guy, especially if he goes Mirrored Night Witch. Mirrored, I'm guessing he's got like a clone in there, something ridiculous. But we have the Executioner and the Tornado, so that's uh, that's going to be a pretty good thing for us. There we go, taking that out. Oh boy, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Hog, and then I'm going to just pull this balloon onto the King's Tower. Let's see if I can do this. Can I do the pro play? Can I be like the pros? I cannot. I thought I could maybe pull that so it would go to the King's Tower instead. I took a shot either way. Um... So yeah, there is that. I was going to take a shot either way there. Let's do this. This guy has basically all maxed out cards. So this is going to be a pretty tough match. 
Um, I'm just laughing at this guy. He's got like all maxed out cards and he's down here at like 4,445. 4, I don't know. Maybe he just got some maxed out cards today and he's testing them out. That could be the case. There we go. We got some archers down though. They're going to take two shots each and he wasted the fireball, which I am okay with. But really, the main thing that I'm going to have to do here is just like be calm and make the right play. So I'm going to go hog and I'm going a little bit more aggressive there because I'm saving my executioner, my tornado for his balloon. And because he's low on elixir, he just wasted so much. We're going to get some free hog shots down there, which is uh, pretty pristine. You guys know I love free hog shots, especially with a full health hog rider. It's uh, pretty beautiful. And let's go guards over here for the night. Just pull them away a little bit. And... I am not going to tornado that. I'm just going to put a tombstone down. I've got to save the tornado for the ho or for the balloon and everything. So let's go hog rider counter push here. We're going, boys. We're going for that counter push. And let's fireball this right here. There we go. Hog's taking it down. Fireball takes down the tower. That is how you do it, boys. And we already got the uh, uh, executioner and the tornado back in hand. So just please. Oh, yes. He brought the balloon. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is so good. Let's. Oh, and the hog rider. That is so much value in just one tornado. Let's put a tombstone down here to pull that balloon back. Didn't even pull the balloon back, but that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. That actually did a lot more damage than I would have liked, but he went with another hog there, or another baby dragon there, which I'm not sure about. Let's just go guards for this knight, and this guy's definitely just spamming down like a lot of different cards. Just kind of seems like he's spamming down as much as possible, which... Would kind of make sense why he's like a higher level player with lower level cards. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's pull this hog back. Oh, I meant to place not that. <laughs> All right, he's got the fireballs. He's got mirrored fireball. And we know he's going to play that, obviously. So let's go guards. Yeah, there's the mirrored fireball there. And let's throw our fireball down here. He's throwing arrows too, but he doesn't have anything else. Let's go archers up the middle. And guards on the tower. Let's go guards. Vlog going down. Please, archers. Yes, clutching up. 23 HP on the tower. That was ridiculous. Like, I, I thought we were done. I was like, oh man, I'm going to have to play another match. We ended up clutching that win. I'll just show you guys my log. Um, I haven't lost with these decks. I've just been tying and winning. I had actually recorded this once before and my computer, the hard drive filled. So I had to like scrap the video because it just didn't show up. But there we go. Those were some solid matches, especially against that last maxed guy. He just had a ridiculous deck, but he just didn't make the right plays at the right times. So yeah, here's the decks one more time. Now let's quickly hop into the community Q&A. I don't know about you guys, but I have just sweat through this chair and my shirt probably. I'm going to need to do some laundry after this. <laughs> I'm kidding, but that just put a bad picture in some people's heads. <laughs> okay, guys, and today's community Q&A comes from Damon Clayster, and his question is, have you ever played any sports besides basketball? And pretty solid question. I've always talked, or I've talked a lot about, like, my basketball playing days in high school and stuff. Now I coach basketball. But yeah, I've played a ton of different sports. I've played, like, hockey, basketball, badminton, volleyball, soccer, golf. I think I've said some of those once or twice, but I played so many sports growing up in school and I actually wasn't too bad. I definitely got a lot of trophies. I'll show you guys some medals right now. Um, so yeah, these are just a few of my trophies. I got this one for like playing well in golf. I got a bunch of medals here and uh, I still have a bunch on my wall. So if you guys want to just hit me up down in the comments, I'll uh, tell you all about these, but this is definitely my favorite one. It's like the only trophy that I've ever gotten. So I definitely thought that was pretty cool. And I just keep it up on a shelf up there. Um, yeah, cause that it's pretty awesome, you know, nice glass trophy for golf and stuff. Really, really white, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. But thank you so much for asking that question. If you guys, you know, want to ask some more questions down below, would definitely like that. This has been the top three Hog Rider decks in the game. We got this Hog Rider deck, 2.9 cycle, the 3.3 Executioner Tornado Lightning deck, and the Clash with Ash Guards Tombstone tornado deck that just beat a maxed out player really hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like if you did because this was a slightly longer episode and it would make my heart all nice and warm if you guys left a like down below make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so that you guys can see even more of my videos coming in the future and uh, you know turn notifications on if you want to really hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out